the following is race two of the Nürburgring Super Sprint reverse grid from race one. Always an unknown when there is a reverse grid as drivers get to know each other in more intimate ways if they weren't so in the first place. The race is about to start and we are off and racing. Off we go, decent start, we'll have a look at what happens here at the first corner. We've got Subi that gets around, we'll jump on Arnold. Hogue's going through, Brandon pushing through, barging through, dash around the outside. Blunty up to fifth position. Making a, making a lot of positions there after the start. Following close behind with Dash Vanguard. So it's still just jostling for positions here. It's the problem that we get with these super sprint rounds. As everyone's really bunched up for a good couple of laps. Up oh, Subi. Arnold still has the lead actually. Uh, made a bad call earlier. It looks like Arnold got the jump on Subi. Uh, not the other way around. We've got to uh, Brendan having a sniff up there around the inside but Subi closes a door that gives a chance for Hodges to have a have a look around on Brendan and gets around Brendan. Blunty is there under the wing and he's now having a, a look at Brendan. We'll go back to Subi who chasing down Arnold. Arnold's still the leader of the race after lap one. What's that going on in the background? Looks like TGT having a, a look to get a few more positions up into this final corner. But we'll see at the end of the first lap we have Arnold closely followed by Subi, who has Hodges there, followed by Blunty, and then it's a blanket over the next five cars TGT, Brendan, The Duck, Dash, and Brits Lightning. It's four wide almost around the first corner. They are all jostling for positions. It doesn't look like anyone's traded paint here yet. And we're heading up to position number one. Subi got around Arnold. Um, whatever the manoeuvre was, I'm going to have to go back and have a look, aren't I? Right. It looks like at the end of the straight we get Arnold tries to block Subi. Does he? Yes, he tries to block Subi. Subi has the outside line that comes in sharper into this corner, whereas Arnold's out wide. Subi, a oh, bit of bumping, maybe not. Didn't see any puff of smoke. But Subi gets around cleanish. Hogs has a look around himself. Arnold holding out for the time being. Closes the door for the next corner. Hogs has got nowhere to go. Might try to have a better run down here Arnold's probably going to try and close the door on this one uh, yeah Arnold's got on the inside line there Hoag's trying to get on the inside but Arnold's finding that silver vehicle or making this silver vehicle as wide as possible so we now move on to yeah we'll just keep keep here at the Hoag's and Arnold. Hoag's chasing down Arnold as we get to the uh, chicane. Hoag's and Arnold, they're tight there over the curbs, using the uh, track limits to the nearest millimeter. Hoag's having an inside look down on the final corner, gets a dive done on Arnold. No touchy feelies there but it does give Blunty a chance to get close to him. But Arnold's going to have another go at Hoag. Hoag sort of inching away, closing off, not letting Arnold have any go, which gives Blunty a look around the outside. And unfortunately for Arnold, Blunty makes full use of that situation. Moving along where with Blunty, he chases down Hoags and Subi. They're both there side by side and it's oh, Subi's holding off. Hoags gets well forced out in the end. Blunty's around 
and Hoax is down to third with Arnold close behind him fourth. TGT in fifth, chasing down Arnold, and hasn't got a good run up into the corner here. Uh, Arnold's in a situation where you know, traffic's constantly around him, he can't get a rhythm going, get his speed up, and um, unfortunately that really does hurt. TGT just flicking fastest time in the race so far. And not quite close enough to, but we've got Arnold still, yep, Brendan, big dive, oh, they've all come together, everyone touching. Gives the advantage for Mirage to get in amongst it all and around Brendan, TGT, Brits is even amongst it, Hoags is there, it's all close and amongst here, Brendan holding off the duck, not quite, Brendan pushed out wide, the duck's got the inside line, Brits is right behind there, this is the fight for 6th position as Dash dives up on the inside hurts Brendan Brits are tied up and tangled in there the Duck's got the faster line out of that corner comes off somehow best out of it we've got Brits getting around Dash and they're still duking it out it's hard going here these two the three now they could throw a blanket over the pair of them the, the trio of them not much in it and coming up to the chicane here they are three wide who will get the better run out of this brits around the corner first dash it looks like brendan might have to run up to the next corner uh, dash is closing the door preventing that and making brendan go around the outside and looks like the race has settled down to that so at beginning of lap six we have Subi in the lead followed by Blunty, Arnold in third, TGT holding off Hoags who's holding off the duck, Brits not too far behind there, Dash and Brendan duking it out for the spoon for this race. Blunty is willing reach of Subi as they come up to the hairpin. This hairpin can throw the car out of balance just a little bit. Looks like Blunty's got the better run here up into the next corner. Uh, Subi oh, out in the dirt which gives Blunty the dive up around the corner before the kink. And now Blunty's taking the lead with Arnold out in the gravel uh, which might give him a well no he still holds off TGT it wasn't quite as big a drama as what could have been so we now with TGT who has got around hoax and we'll move up to Monty in the lead. Alright, what it will be is TGT taking a dive around the outside of Arnold. Arnold's cutting in tight. TGT there or thereabouts. Arnold closes the door, gets everyone up close together again. TGT Hoag's in tow. Arnold's making that silver Porsche very wide and the others just bearing down bunching up TGT looking for an outside go around Arnold Arnold holding the tight line TGT holds the outside line knowing that the next corner he'll be on the inside and gets right in tight inside gives Arnold enough room and then takes third place from Arnold we have Hoags closely behind Arnold uh, coming through the kink flat out as everyone Hoag's going to look to have a go on the chicane gets around the duck around Arnold as well we 
you have the Duck and Brits Lightning get around Arnold. It was a bit of a tangle there. Don't know if any paint was traded. Unfortunately for Arnold, he lost two positions in just a matter of two short corners. Dash in eighth, and Brendan right on his heels. Lap number eight, and Blunty's comfortably in the lead of Subi. Subi got a good distance on TGT. However, TGT is getting slowly tracked by Hoags, who's closely followed by Mirage and Brits. And Arnold's still there, in with in with uh, a hope chance. Uh, Dash going around the other side of Arnold. Arnold's got the better run there. Should be able to hold on to the next corner. But unfortunately, it might give Brendan a better better run on dash as these two are fighting for a position it's anyone's game here and not sure on the charts these two are fairly close in the championship charts as well so watch this space all right, all right coming around as we come into the last lap of this race we have blunty in the lead with a little way back Subi followed by TGT and on his heels is Hoves straight behind him is Mirage then Brits Arnold there or thereabouts Dash putting on the blockade to Brendan as Brendan gets out wide as Blunty hits a purple Oh, he's got the fastest lap for the race uh, on lap 8 now holding a comfortable lead yeah, the rule racing is actually for third place as Savage Duck goes around Hoag's on the S there and the second S Hoag's having to go back but, uh, that uh, Mirage's booty is a bit too big there TGT so not got a good run here at the kink and the duck might have a go up the inside here at the chicanes TGT they're neck and neck TGT they both get each other space hoax having a good look at it TGT blocking for the final corner of the race which Blunty just won I'll have to go back right final final lap final corner we have Blunty who crosses the line in first followed by Subi with a great comeback from finishing last in the last race managed to come out second TGT third Savage Dark fourth fifth is Hoags sixth is Bit Sighting Arnold seventh Brendan eighth Dash ninth Here are the results of race two well done to the podium. Good work, Subi, holding everyone else up. And uh, the next race will follow up shortly with highlights once I've fixed up the editing. And remember to put the sound on recording.